guys hear me? Maybe you can. Let's see. Let me try the settings just to make sure the microphone is reasonable. Yeah, it looks a little low. How about now? Now it's a little bit louder. A little bit louder? I don't know. I don't know if it makes a difference. All right, we'll go with this. That sounds pretty good. Ooh, now that's way too loud. Sorry, guys. Hang on a second. That's probably better. I sound like an alien. <laughs> yeah, that's probably just choppy. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's let's start. Um, I'm going to not be on IRC for a bit. I'm just going to watch what you guys type, but I'm not going to type back. I'm just going to speak back. And um, let's get started. I don't have, I'm not going to run with any mods right now. I'm going to just, just do, um, ah, heck, we'll do, we'll do debug. Why not? Uh, I just want to show you some of the mining stuff. The only mod I've got now is Corporate Command. Um, so let's let me show you some of the stuff that I've done. First, let's see if we can get to our favorite mining station. Here we go. Now, one thing you'll see, uh, there's new text here. It says, you're docked at a mining colony, blah, blah, blah. Empty loading bays are a silent reminder of past days. So that's that's um, a, a new text that tells you that there are actually no special mining deposits in this particular s system. So if you see something like that, then you don't even have to bother um, uh, looking for mining deposits. You're just basically in the same in the same uh, you know it, it's just normal asteroid mines. Uh, but let me still try to rig up for mining. Um, let me, oh, I also got to show you some of the new uh, docking screens. 
some of these new docking screens just just getting a lot of feedback about making making some of the options uh, more obvious when they're disabled. So I have descriptions now that tell you when uh, you know, for instance, you can't you don't need to refuel that kind of stuff when we don't have weapons to sell all that stuff. But I'm going to go try to get an, a cargo expansion. I'm going to buy an upgrade, get a miner's cargo hold, and while I'm at it, I might as well get um, a mining laser if I can afford one. I can't, but since I'm playing debug, we'll just we'll just I don't want to be greedy. I'll do just two thousand. Okay. Got it. All right. So now we've got mining lasers. Oh, let me do one last thing. Um, let me, I'm sorry, not that. Let me buy some stuff. The other thing I've got now is now you can buy seismic scanners and excavation pods. The scanners are things that detect a mine or ore inside asteroids, but don't actually extract it these excavation pods will actually extract it. And both use a shockwave effect to kind of clear an area of, of asteroids. I'm just gonna buy a couple of these, let's say four of those, and maybe we'll buy three of these. I guess that's all I can afford. Okay, for the rest, I guess I'll have to, I'll have to find, uh, find actual ore and, and sell it. Um, oh, one last thing. Let's see where, where there is, where there's another interesting mining station. Um, I think that's it. Looks like C1, okay. That's probably the next system. So that's C1. Okay. Yeah, okay, so this is going to be a miner's paradise. So we'll... Uh, there's a question about recording. I, I believe I am actually recording the video. But um, I know I'm at least recording it locally. I don't know if I'm recording it uh, in Twitch, but we'll see. Recording it locally, and I'll be able to upload it at some point. So, so don't worry too much. Uh, let me just see if I can. F ah, there's Dorlo Dreams. That's the mining station that I'm looking for. So now, as you see, the text here is now different. It says everyone's talking about a vast ore, ore deposit that has yet to be found. So the text will tell you whether or not there are any deposits in the system. Now, of course, it's still pretty hard to figure things out because um, it's a giant, it's a giant, you know, um, asteroid field. So I don't know how easy it's going to be. Here's what I usually do. Um, I know usually, oh, here's another one. I'm going to somewhat assume, and because this is exactly how the algorithm works, that these stations somehow try to be near the asteroid. Uh, near near the ore deposit. So generally, I try to look for ore deposits where there's already stuff around. I guess, I guess. So what I'm going to do is let's try this out. Let me deploy one of my seismic scanners. So I deployed the seismic scanner, and you can see it shows me the radius of its effect. So this is this is the radius that um, it'll cover, and Maybe I'll deploy another one. Ah, I guess I can wait. So to, to trigger it, you communicate with it and say detonate. Gives you a little bit of chance to leave. And there it goes. And now it looks like it didn't find very much. It found a couple tons here, a couple tons there. So maybe I have to find somewhere else. Let's look over. Let's let's just keep looking. Huh. 
higher technology levels, you get um, greater ranges. So it looks like you have, uh, you, you just have a better, better chance of finding it. No or. How about here? Here, I don't mind hitting this guy. Hey, let's try to use an excavation pod and see if we can do a little damage to the to the Abbasid. There we go, but still no ore found. Doesn't look like it found any ore. They would have told me. How about one here? Oh, we can get rid of these guys. Oops. What happened? They got hit. Yeah, if you, if you hit the, uh, the excavation pod, you can move it. And did I find any ore? I still did not find any ore. So let's try one more over here. How about the next one? Hey, leave me alone. asteroid fields. You really can't. It's really kind of hard to find all this stuff. One ton of ore. It's almost nothing here. Last scanner pod. colony. No one's found the ore deposit yet. I bet, it, I bet they're sitting right on it. Now, normally this is not how I should move it. I think I'm going to have to add a feature where you can dock with the mining, uh, the seismic scanner, and kind of pick it back up, and then you can just put it down somewhere else. That's, I think, how it's going to end up end up going. Let's see if there's any ore here. Nope, no ore found. Oh, right here, this looks like a juicy spot. Thankless mining tasks. Sorry, I'm reading, I'm reading everything. Will the pods damage things near them? Yes, when they detonate, um, Certainly the excavation pods will do damage, um, potentially a lot of damage. The, the other ones will not do as much damage, but, but they will do damage. A and you will get blamed for it if you, if you um, hurt some station. Let me buy some more of these. some class B's. These have a slightly bigger radius. And I'll buy some of these. A bunch more of these. Alright. Now of course all the normal stuff still works, like mining still works with just with the laser. 
the one the one thing that's different. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I can show it. Usually these guys are supposed to have a little bit of ore. Come on guys, give me some ore. Yeah, so I found some more. So this, of course, will just work the same way. Nothing special there. Still surprised it doesn't find more. Let's use one of the big ones on this, on this guy. Won't kill these guys, but it'll hurt them a little bit. Did kill him. Wow, look at that. Found a little bit of ore here. Not very much. Another nice thing is once you do find ore, you see these numbers uh, that I'm flying by. The the ore you find shows up in the in the system map so that you can always go back you know and remember where you found ore that I found particularly useful let me go check this little asteroid field over here you never know there might be some ore over here but not very much. Search this one too, just in case. Did I try this one already? That's definitely not a big field. Someone asks, let me see. Did you forget about the ore spawn around the outlaw miner camp? I might have. I can try that. Doesn't seem like a lot of asteroids though. The ore field code is pretty reasonable in that it, it doesn't create ore fields unless there's like enough asteroids. So I don't know if this is... It's 
there may not be any too many asteroids. Yeah. One thing I think I'm gonna need at some point, I just don't know exactly how to do this. I think I'm gonna need some way of marking where you've already searched and where you haven't searched. I'm pretty sure I already searched all this area. Hey, knock it off. I'm just a humble miner. Don't attack me. says, if only you could drop multiple scanners and detonate them all at once. Yeah, that's a great idea, actually. I, I thought about doing that. I think that's a that's that's probably the right idea for figuring out where you drop them all. If you could just drop them in various places and and then only detonate them after you've dropped them, after you've positioned them in the right spot, I think that would work. I think that would really work. Maybe the other thing I need. Uh, I don't know if I need this, but I wonder if at some point there should be ways of getting clues about where the where the ore deposits are, because in some of these large asteroid fields, it's just too hard to find. All right, let's see what else we got. Yeah, I found little deposits, but I didn't find, I haven't found the big one. Let me do one more. Give me some more money, please. Searched all this. I think I searched all this. Right yeah, just little bits of ore. I think if I were a real miner, I'd be a little more methodical <laughs> instead of just random. Did I find anything? Yeah, just a little bits, bits and pieces. Little bits of ore here and there, but not like significant amounts. Where 
else haven't I looked? Let me go over here. I'm pretty sure it's not in the outer asteroid belt because there's way too many, or or rather not enough. There's not enough asteroids to to really have a decent ore field. So at least I don't have to search that as long as the code is working correctly. Found something. Oh no. Right. Didn't say no more found. No. There should be more over here. I'll have to check. I'll have to check to make sure. You're still alive. What the heck? There's some, there's some more. So you see, that's the other thing that I change. Once you do hit an asteroid with the mining laser, it'll tell you how much ore is left. It's a small, tiny little feature, but I think it just makes it just a little bit easier. Mining is hard enough as it is. Is there other stuff here? Ooh. Have more. Not that one though. That one either. See some more questions. <laughs> Special epitaph. I like that. Mining charge. All right, let's see. Let's get some. Let's buy out some more mining charges. I need more money though. You know what? Let's uh let's use our wand of wishing. Now I can show you the the larger the larger mining pod. Um let's see, where would we not I still think there's something going on around here. Maybe I'm wrong. Break on it. Let's, let's use it here. So you see this, the Class C mining pod, look at the range. It's got a much bigger range. It's more expensive, of course, but... And you need special special permits, but it should uh, it should find a lot more stuff. This one's also really dangerous, so you really can't be inside it. And did we find anything? We killed some stuff. But we didn't find anything. So there's clearly no ore there. 
I'm gonna go over here and kill this guy. Who am I? Oh, just out of range. Oh well. Oh, got some of those guys. Nothing. this guy? No. I've searched that whole ring. Where else could he be? It's not going to be in these little tiny things. That I know. I guess it could be this area, but I don't think so. I already searched all this. Some more questions. Can I defuse a pod after arming it? No, you currently can't. Someone asked, I think we can conclude that this is mining is still not a good way to make money. Possibly. I, I don't know. This, I've had particularly bad luck here, but I think in testing I had better luck and I was able to make a lot more money. You know, mining is going to be one of those things that is, I think, almost like a lottery. Um, if you hit it big and you hit, the, you hit a big deposit, it makes up for all the, all the, all the money you spent on mining charges and whatnot. But the only question is, you know, do you ever find the mining deposit? So just like gambling, there's no guarantee that you'll actually find it, as you can see. I can see by this. Another thing to think about um, is these kind of systems where there's just like a giant asteroid ring. It's not clear that these are the best places to find um, the large deposits because there's just so much to search. Other systems that just have you know, the smaller belts and the little Trojans, if you find the mining deposit there, it's a lot easier. Like, let's let's try some other one. Let's see, let's see what's that on. Uh... Oh, this is yet another one. This might not be any better. So this one, this this rumor says vast ore deposits out among the asteroid fields, but no one has found any of them yet. This that speaks about more than one deposit. So that even that even is like one one level above, or that this should be even easier to find. I just don't know if I'll be able to find it. There's just so much. How about uh? Let me see if I can. All right. Scan a big enough range. Still, it's it's a fraction of the asteroid field. It's not. 
not likely to find very much. Let's try this one here. Oh, sorry. You know, the other thing I think I'm going to have to do is potentially increase the range of some of these pods. Yeah. I find little bits, but not that much. Positive. But just mine it until I get it off. Titanium. That's crap. That's barely going to pay for the fuel. by my own pod. Yeah, so I don't have the right epitaph, if you saw. What else I've got? How about if we go to not, not probably nothing like that. Let's go C9. I better upgrade here because otherwise I will not survive. This might be easier to find if they have any ore deposits. So this guy is a mining union station. This is kind of just a higher level version of the of the mining stations that that you see everywhere else. Oh, and I have to buy I have to I'm going to need a lot of money for this. I don't know if this is correctly balanced, but you have to pay to join. And once you join, you can buy whatever you want. And now you can buy all these, like, the really expensive and the really advanced scanners. So let me just buy four of these. And let's see what we can find here. Oh, Farians. I don't want to kill these guys. Well, we'll see what happens. Maybe I should, oops. Maybe I should just, nah, eh, I'll use it. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I won't kill anyone. Oh, you know what? I forgot to even, 
I forgot to even check to see if there was any ore here. There might not even be any ore here, or any ore deposits. Oh, yeah, no, there is. Miners and prospectors ready their ships to search for an undiscovered deposit. All right, then. Ooh, looks like I may have found something. Here we go. Hey, hey, these guys are, are taking my ore. I got a mine before, uh... Hey! Oh, this is gonna suck. These, uh, variants are gonna take all my ore. I need a... I need a big excavation pod, that's what I need. Oh, well, there's still another ore in the system, so let's... Let's keep going. Get out, get out, quick, 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 quick. Oh, I just made it. Get a bunch of these. Ah, now we're talking. A little bit of orca steel, that's always good. What else we got? Neutronium, I tell you. Yeah, this is. Now we're talking. Now, can I sell it? Yeah, no one will buy it, I don't think. I'm going to have to take it somewhere to sell. Let me try one more scanner pod. Yeah, a couple, not very much. Does this still think that there's an undiscovered? It says there's still an undiscovered. It's gonna be around here somewhere. It's probably really close to this colony. I'll try to not get hit. Oh yeah, that's the mother load. That's where it all is. Steel, eh, that's okay. Oops. Plast steel, that's okay. What's on this one? Plast steel. Hey! Hey, stop taking my ore! Uranium, ah, yeah, that's a little bit better. I gotta kill these guys. So, so after you do discover your ore field, enemy ships start coming in, the unlicensed miners start trying to muscle in on your operation. So I gotta kill these guys. Oh, sorry. Why am I doing this? Uh, it's not that great. 
this was plasteel too, if I remember. We'll use another excavation pod. Do we get any excavation pods left? All right. Well, you guys have a good idea now of how this works. I think there's still a little bit of a. Oh yeah, some debug info. Just two. I'm loaded up with ore. stuff. Oh, I'm so slow right now. Hey, okay, All right. All right, let me answer some questions while while I'm getting a. Geez. These guys just keep coming. Maybe we should make them uh, try to attack the nest. Let me answer some questions. Are the outlaws going to have anything tougher than hammerheads? Um, eventually, I think maybe at some point they should start getting some of the other outlaw ships like the, you know, um, um, hey, go away. Yeah, eventually I think we're going to have to have some other, some other ones. Well, you guys can see, you guys can see how this how this is working. Um, you, I'm probably about a day or so from releasing this as a, as beta five, so you guys will get a chance to play with it. And you know, the feedback that I want obviously is um, the balance for this. You know, we've seen I think some things uh, in terms of how hard it is to find ore. I want you guys to try it out and and just verify and just see, um, you know, if we need to adjust either the the radius of of the excavation pods, the size of the fields. I don't know um, the price of the pods. Uh, just just you know, once you guys um, get it, get to play with it, just let me know. Let me know what you think about it. So probably a couple of days from now, we'll we'll have it we'll have it on. Do you guys have any last questions before I? Before I end this this um this stream, which by the way I think I hope worked pretty well. You'll have to tell me what you guys thought of the of the stream, whether it worked well or not. But um but I think it worked pretty well. So Let's 
question here about detonation timer on pods. Yeah, I think that's freighters might have trouble escaping. Yeah, I think that's that's probably right. We may need to adjust the the detonation timer. But of course, you know, if you remember, you don't have you can be outside the radius when you detonate it. You know, you don't have to be right next to it when you when you trigger it. So I think I was probably just being lazy in that particular case. Now I'm getting attacked by Ares. What the hell? Will pods detonate if you hit them with WMD? Uh, right now, no, but that's a great idea. I think that's something that, that probably should happen. I, I believe, if I remember correctly, they, they have hit points, so I think you can, you can uh, destroy one of the pods. Oh, wait, wait, I'm about to die. Oh, oh, I don't want to hit the nest. Oh, I'm so about to die. Oh, well. Uh, let, me, let me just show you... I believe if I deploy one of these, I believe... Um, I think they have hit points. Maybe I'm, I might be wrong. I may not have put hit points. I thought they did, but I might, they may not. If so, they have a lot of hit points. I'll have to check it out. But I think they should get destroyed. I think they should get destroyed if you hit them, um, particularly with WMD. And I do want to add, I don't know if I'll have time before the beta, but I do want to add a, a way to pick up the, the pod. Probably just dock with the pod and then just pick it up the way you would other things. Any other questions? I like the suggestion about mining soccer played with uh, charges and <laughs> repellers. <laughs> that would be interesting, especially if you can control the 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 uh, arming length. You can arm it and then push it around, and wh whichever side pushes it to the other station uh, wins before it detonates. All right, I'm gonna end the end the stream and meet you guys. Meet you guys back in IRC for a little bit.